All right, you ready to talk about how foster care has changed our marriage? Sure, babe. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like this is like the least prepared that we've been for videos just because we've both been going, going, going today. And this was the best time to, to film it. Um, the kids are at visit. And so I was like, well, we got to film. So I was like, let's just sit down and, and talk about the good and the bad and all of that. So you want to start? Sure. Okay. It hasn't changed at all, actually. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's been really good. I think it's, uh, I feel like we've argued a lot less. Oh yeah, like for th sure. Those of you that know us know that before we probably had quite a few fights. Yeah. Like we're, we're fiery personalities. I feel like with this, so the thing with the, with the, having the foster kids, it really kind of unites us in a, with a, towards a, working towards a common goal. Yeah, definitely. So like we're constantly talking about like what's going on with the kids, what's going on with the case, what's going on with the parents and you know, just really united and working together towards something. And that's been really helpful before we did kind of have a little bit of a temper that would flare up pretty quickly. Yeah. And I feel like both of us have gotten better and staying calmer part of it through the training that we've gone through in the books yeah. we've read and then just realizing that's it's obviously not help, helpful with kids. You can't explode on the kids and they're, they're going through so much trauma already anyway. Yes. And so we've had to learn to control our volume and our tone with the kids and in doing that and learning that with the kids, we've gotten, I think, a lot better with each other exactly. most of the time too. Exactly. Because <laughs> we're not going to want to raise our voices with each other because they're present and we don't want to alarm them. And so, so yeah. It, it, well, it, so yeah, it's also an example, but I'm saying like whenever we're like disciplining the kids too, or talking to the kids or trying to teach and train and instruct, now. we've practiced staying very calm and just, you know, talking through things. Um, yeah, we've really changed. Angry. So yeah. <laughs> Like, Not that we aired this. all that on on our other videos before necessarily, but no, was... I mean I did talk about it in other videos how like we were upset with each other and we're just we're both very opinionated. But having that common goal to work towards right. has been so so helpful mm -hmm. um, for us for sure. And if you know our previous videos, we did a lot of travel. And so that's been something that's been totally different. Go where we wanted, didn't have to really worry about asking anybody. Um, and now in order to travel um, out of state with the kids, we have to ask permission or even if we go in state, um, we just have to give notice if it's like with, uh, within like less than 48 hours. It's just, it's just different. I feel like we have a lot less like downtime where we're going and just doing fun stuff that we like to do. Yeah. Like just are getting to do a whole different circle of things, I guess is what I'm saying. So. Yeah, I love going to children's museum and yeah. like the fair and like seeing that like through the eyes of the kids and like parades and things like that. Like before, when it was just you and me, I'd be like, this is weird. Like just to be like a kid place, like just by ourselves, you know? Right. Um, so yeah. And, and even like the things that we do are a little bit different too. Cause like we have to do them at a different pace. Um, yeah. Either faster or taking breaks for, you know, potty breaks, diaper change, or snacks, food, whatever. Usually when we're out, like, it's like, okay, we got like a three hour, usually time slot at an event to where that's about all the kids can handle based on nap times and things like that. So yeah, we have to be a lot more scheduled. Whereas before, if we were trying to like go and explore a new place, we would try to see as much of it as possible. It's been so great um, to see Peter in the parent role. Um, I feel like you are a very good mix of firm, um, but also very loving. My love for him has like grown. Like we have had way less time for each other. Like just like you and me time. It's, there's usually a kid around or we just put him to sleep and we're tired or it's, you have to do some extra work or I'm doing some editing or we're cleaning, you know? So it's not, it's not just like always free time after we get him to sleep. And so, Anyways, yes, it's less time, but the good that I've seen is just seeing you um, as a father has just been so amazing. My love for you has really grown because of that. I can remember my first place with the kids and um, Bobby was five months old. Getting all three at once, um, going from zero kids to three kids, like we, we were able to do that just because we just tag teamed it so well. You do a really good job planning out all the activities. I've really appreciated all the cooking you do. You do that, like all the meals pretty much. And you know, making sure homework's done with 
the oldest and you know doctor's appointments and all that kind of stuff so i'm here with the kids but peter he works here from home and your your schedule has got a lot more interrupted from me coming in and being like oh bubby pooped can you please change it it stinks so bad i've changed three already today can you do it and he's like i'm kind of in the middle of something and so sometimes um, I do, yes. sometimes I don't. Yes, no, like definitely he helps out more, but then he goes, I'm actually trying to work here. I'm like, oh, right, right, right. Like, I'll leave I, you alone. I threaten to go to the co-working space or go get office space somewhere. Yeah, and then I'm like, okay, no, I love you. I love you. You, I'll, I'll shut the door. Um, make sure the kids don't come in and you get your work done. You stay here. I'm so glad to have you here because it's nice because we have lunch together um, and that's so nice to have, you know, that time that you're around with the kids and so... Um, it's really worked well with him being able to work from home. My role during the day is kind of like, okay, take care of the kids. And then in the evening, like Peter, you he helps out so much. Like he- Entertain the kids and give Lisa a break. Yes. And clean the di okay. dishes. But there have been times when he is spinning the girls over and over again as they're dancing. And, and I'm like, whoa, girls, like give him a break. Like he doesn't ever say that. And some, every once well, in a while. Every once in a while. Yeah. But like, they're like more, more. You know? I'm like, oh goodness, are your arms not exhausted? Like, I'm watching it exhausted. Okay. I work out. Okay. Go to the gym. Okay. Get a gym membership. Yes. Now, so Peter has been consistent with going to the gym. Except for when I'm sick. Um, and so, he, yeah, he's. Remember that cold I had last week? Yeah, no, he has it. Passing um, around. Yeah. And Sharing the love. Yes. Uh, oh, goodness. That's the other thing. We used to think we were so healthy before kids. That's true. We get sick a lot more now. Everybody we, said that, though, too. So like, We have been it's true. consistently, somebody has had a cold, I think, since like all of last year. I think there was like a three-week break where nobody had any snot, nothing. And I was like, this is wonderful. Um, but it usually just works its way through. So we, yeah, we would hardly get colds, but now we are, I feel like, constantly sick because we just get the germs from them. So what else? I mean, one thing that's nice is like during visits, like we usually will go for a date night, like at least usually once a week, not always, depending yeah. on like how many videos you're trying to edit yeah. during that time or, or whatever, or if I happen to be working on a project late or something. There have been times when he get a break too where he'll want to go out with um some guys or things like that and uh, i remember the very first time i think it was maybe like month one or two and you went out and i was so jealous because it was a crazy night with the kids it was my first time like doing bedtime by myself and i remember bubby was teething super hard and at that point we didn't have any like children's tylenol or anything and or chew toys or or any chew toys right it was like just on the beginning of teething and i text peter and i'm like you need to get back here on your way pick out some tylenol for this kid like oh my goodness he's not sleeping he's screaming in my ear um and it wasn't like i was even getting home that late either so i was like you got home at 11. No, I didn't. Yes. I thought it was more like nine. No. Well, that it, I was home later because I had to stop and get stuff. I think. I think, I think finally I was like, just, come, just home. come home. Just get here. I didn't need you. But yeah, I, I remember being kind of mm. super jealous. But now it's super nice because there's been a couple of times, a handful that you have gone out. And then I now have done uh, like a once a month ladies game night. And that's been super fun. And it's super nice to have the night off and... Um, yeah, it's just, it's good to have those separate things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some advice that, you know, we had, had gotten before is, you know, don't let parenting become your marriage. Mm -hmm. And I think it is easy to do. And I think that is something that we can still work on because it is easy to make it all about the kids. Um, in fact, most of our conversations are about that, but to make sure that you're focused on the marriage as well. And uh, one one super cool thing is uh, we've had amazing friends who have and family who have been background check who are able to take watch the kids. We have one friend who does it weekly while Peter and I go serve at church, um, and then we have uh, my mom who came and actually watched the kids when we took an anniversary trip, and that was huge. That was so, like I was so excited for that trip. It was three nights. And we didn't go very far, but it was far enough. And it was just like so 
amazing to be able to get away um recharge i think that's something that yearly we need to do um because it's just yeah that was amazing that was our first time away from the kids almost a year into having them and it was yeah awesome yeah i think it's really good focusing on on each other and we're in a small group with other couples so that's that's good and whenever you go through any sort of challenge with someone you grow together yeah and i feel like you know the the challenge of you know being a parent to you know whether it's your own biological kids or foster kids like in our case um you become less selfish like when you when it's just the two of us i feel like you know, we're more focused on do things the way I want to do yeah. or whatever. Like yeah. you, you're frustrating me because you're wanting me to do things your way. I don't like that. But like you have to become more selfless like with kids too. That sounds like a toddler, you know? But that's what but that's like what all of us are. are. Like, I mean, you watch shows and like people are like, well, I don't know if this person's the right fit because they're, they're going to try to change me and like, you know, I'm just, I'm going to be me and they're not, they got to love me for me. But like, it's all, it's also selfish and self-centered. Yeah. And like, you know, I feel like when you, kids get thrown in the mix like you really learn to be a little more selfless yeah and learn to really love another person and figure out what they need and you need to take care of them and then that kind of carries over into taking care of your spouse and like you know being less selfish with like your own needs too so you know i feel like i've gotten a little more flexible to a certain degree with uh things like tidying up or clean house. Oh man, you have, I mean, just looking around here right now, they're all stuff out of order. And this is like relatively clean right now. <laughs> right. But at the same time, you've also gotten better and appreciated, you know, cleaning up a little bit more yes. too, because you realize like- We're trying to teach the kids that. So. Trying to teach the yeah. kids that. And also like with the kids, like when they're making a mess, you're like, oh, this is driving me crazy. Yes, and exactly. Then, and I'm like, see, yes, that's exactly. how it used to do it to me. Like, yeah, exactly. Anyways. But no, like it, but it, so it's both ways. Like it, Overall, like, I think you just grow as a person and as a couple, like, through being foster parents, for sure. So, yeah, we definitely have had some arguments uh, around the kids and around how to do things. The most recent one I can remember is Christmas Eve, <laughs> sitting on the couch, talking about what to do Christmas morning. Um, now, we had already had a discussion. Like, it's not like we were that last minute of planning. We'd already had a discussion, like, actually back in Thanksgiving on, like, what Christmas morning was going to look like. This was our first Christmas morning with kids and also with foster kids. Uh, you know, there is a lot of trauma going on, a lot of things. And so we just were trying to talk through, like, how to have the morning go to make it the most fun and best and what the kids needed in that moment. As you can tell, Lisa really likes to script things out, plan things out in extreme detail. Yes! And like feel like she has a control over it, make sure everybody's needs or wants are being met, like everybody's being entertained or getting having the best time. Yes. And I was like, look, honey, we're gonna have we're all gonna have a great time. Here's here's the bullet point list of what we're gonna do. I or what I think we should do, but like we don't need to like get too uptight about it. It was our biggest fight that we had the whole year. We literally had to separate. Like you were like, I'm gonna take a moment and go until you calm down. Cause and you're so uptight. I know, I know I was, but I'm she, saying, that's, that's the, the thing only is, time that's happened this year. As far as I like, remember, like maybe I'm like forgetting something else, but like, and that's most recent. And I think it was because there was high emotions with the kids around the holidays. There was high emotions with us. Um, I was trying to co-regulate their emotions through the whole holiday season, which is just very difficult. I think that's one of the reasons, honestly, ended up getting sick is because my immune system was down after trying so much to help co-regulate the kids. Just checking in with them, like seeing how they're doing, or are we gonna need to take things slower, or do we need to move on to something else, or do we need to just like, you know, just take a moment with one aside and spend some quality time with them. So it was, I was exhausted from that, honestly. Um, and then there was just a difference of opinion. And she was, she was just yeah. so stressed out about the details yes. that it was coming across very, we were being mean to each other about I it. was being very and mean. And I, I like, I was calm. <laughs> I think I was doing a fairly good job of keeping myself calm, but like yeah. your tone was like, I don't want to talk with this tone. So like, let's take a break. Well, I want to resolve to? it. I just want to do it in a nicer way. I know. I like, I wanted to be nice to each other. So there you go. Now you know our biggest argument of last year. A lot of our conversations after the kids go to bed um, is about them. Is about um, what's going on with the case. Um, mm -hmm. We're talking about, like, hey, like, this came up with the kids today. Like, how do you think we should approach this in the future? 
um, this behavior was coming up like, okay, so we need to come up with like, you know, a, a way to talk about that. Or I think that has grown us because we are trying to problem solve um, together. Anyways, hopefully all this rambling is helpful. I don't know how helpful it is, but hopefully it is. Uh, At but least entertaining, I'm, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, if you're wondering if fo being a foster parent is going to be a good thing for your marriage or not, yes, it is. Yes. Do it. You should do it. It's going to be great for yourself individually and for you as a couple. Do it for your marriage. Do it for the kids. Yeah, it's definitely hard, but it's worth it, which I feel so like is we a theme it. of most of my videos and how they end is it's hard, but it's worth it. Uh, so thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Dreams, yeah. Yeah, I got you. I'm gonna kiss you. Oh, I'll come back for a kiss. Oh. Sex doesn't happen as much. That's just too, too team. I cut that. Don't put that in there. Well, obviously, I said we didn't have so much time in the evening together. Like, do you really need to say that? And I said on a pillow. So I was tall enough. <laughs> cut that. <laughs>